before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. on the other side of that car. If we're gonna kill all these guys, we're going to have to sneak around. There's one back there, trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. That's everything I know, man. But, you know, watch out. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. One pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. Get into that room. They really want to get into that room. You need to find a weapon. Let's keep looking around. We can do 
was something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. that can't just roll away. Awesome! See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? You need another weapon, man. Two more. 
That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. 
and things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back at the motor end. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? It would have been a waste of a bullet. What do you mean? She was dead anyway. I'm not in the euthanasia business. Whoa, man. She was a person. She's gone now anyway. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. Not enough. I can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure.
We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of him, God, that helped. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. <laughs> oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry.
Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! Oh shit! Okay then. Come time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. I found something! somebody else get eaten today. Even if he is an asshole. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Check this out. 
I remember when I packed them up, I said, oh, these are going to be important, and you can use them, so I'll put them right in this front pocket. And then you had to go and move them. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Oh, man. Check this out. Hey, can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I got super dinosaurs too. Did you check the glove? No hey, kid. He was Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. So awesome. uh, I did. Yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Oh, yeah, man. I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Can you just look over there? Everything How you doing, Doug? If I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. She liked you too. Thankfully. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we Everything both needed you. You picked me. I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. I didn't. Oh. Like we have much to begin with. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish you would have picked her. Oh, man. Check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I like thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell. And my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other up. one. Oh, these are going to be important, and Ken will lose them, so I'll put them So? Right it can't really help us. But, I know, them. it's just, I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. Did you check and the now they're call? gone. It's I gone. Maybe we can you find you another one. You I'll just keep this one, I guess. Ken, Lee, can just come here for a second. Everything mm. we own would Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We 
could block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! When you all thought Duck was bitten? Well, I'm just doing the same thing. We know this guy's not gonna make it. This isn't happening! No more, please! No more, please! Lee! Please! 